All right, guys, so one of the most common things that I hear people say always is never to trim wire. So what happens when you know, you're know you using some one zero gauge and you go to plug it in and there's just no way it's gonna fit. Let's say for whatever reason, there's a, you know, a, a four gauge input where you're trying to work. Um, today, we're going to measure using a reducer, a one zero to four gauge reducer, and then we're gonna plug it in. We're measuring the resistance on these. And then I'm actually going to trim this wire to fit. And we're going to see which actually provides a better connection down to the one millionth of an ohm. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up and we'll be right back. So I have the wire inside the reducer. Uh, now you can see we have plenty of room, fits no problem. So get this tightened down. Now we're going to measure the resistance. I'm going to measure it at the same spot both times. And you'll see doing it this way, we have about half a milliohm. So 0. 0.0005 ohms of resistance. Now I'm going to get this wire trimmed down and we're gonna try directly with the wire. Okay, so I have about approximately half of this trimmed away now, which it would be appropriate for uh, one zero going to four. And you can see it fits now well in here. So we're going to go ahead and get this set up and test the resistance. We have a reduction of about 0.18, or 0 0.018, right in that neighborhood of resistance by trimming the wire as opposed to using a reducer. So, I'm not advocating one way or the other. I'm just providing the information, but if you use this versus just trimming the wire to fit, you are increasing your resistance. So, do what you want with that information, just providing it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Have a good one, everyone.